Let's do it. Should be back to my regular overbearing self by next week. Awesome. So what the hell is going on with um, game is not even responding? <laughs> Takes this long to load. What's up with the music? All right. makes a beast of himself, removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson. That's a word of wisdom for you. Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. Tell me if it's too loud. Oh, I'm in control. I'm just very, very drunk. Never trust a man that has a freaking bar around his bed. I think I don't want these hints. Why do I have hints? Show hints. Don't show hints. Save and exit. Back to game. I have to find the tinder box so I can light that candle. No. Oh. Apparently that didn't help. Oh, okay. Save and exit. I don't want to exit the game. What? The there we go. Weird. Let's move the chair over there. Um, we're not very tall, so maybe I don't know. June 24th, 1899. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jag jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the 
What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The fetid heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there, a rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic. But it feels, fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? Not desperate, you're just mad. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is that? Why do we have a pig's mask? That I can't interact with. Hmm. All the cupboards are strategically barred. Daddy, Daddy, find us. Note to self. Teach little Joey to talk properly. Speak properly. What the fuck? Daddy, daddy. Exactly the same kind of stuff that we had in the last game, though, interior wise. Splishy, splashy. to jump on my back. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Goddamn sounds bar. Papa, Papa, this way. Oh fuck no. I'm getting in like insane from listening to my children's voices. What the fuck is wrong with me? Stop. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Okay. Two little piggy masks. Creepy, weird. What? One, two, three. How many of these masks are there? What the? F hmm. Ha. Huh. Interesting. I could have sworn that there was a piggy mask there. Right. Let's go what we go do what we always do on Wednesday afternoons. Spank the children, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> children's bedroom. Glass of wine next to the that's not that's not the way to... What the fuck is wrong with this house? Hmm. 
Another in the vents. <laughs> My journal. Fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and f fecund sepulcher. Beckoning me to begin a descent. Damn, I can't read this freaking uh, text. To the loam? Where surely only bodies may be found. No matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Attics and nurseries. But they slept in the attic when they were babes in arms. And perhaps they have hidden there. I remember I insisted upon it. Midway between my bedroom and my office. So we're playing a complete loon. help but notice that there's no staircase down. Zimba! Yo, how's it going? Uh, it's going creepy and weird and s strange. We're walking around what we believe to be our house, looking for our children, but uh, all we're finding is weird pig masks. And there's no way to go downstairs. What the hell? Did I jump? No. So apparently we start out insane in this game. Open the doors. Oh, of course. Wonder if that was there before. I don't know. There's a bad man coming. <laughs> There's a bad man coming, Papa. Oh, everything is as it should be. Yeah, children missing, pig masks. My children have a obnoxious accent. Call me Papa. <laughs> Edwin and Enoch's diary, October 11th, 1899. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He's much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He's ever so busy. Oh yeah, I have to read with her. <laughs> he has gone from work before she would He's gone for work before she wakes us. And often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with a rolling pin. Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious. But we think he'd been crying again. Apparently our wife is dead, by the way. <clears throat> oh! There they are. Picked up lantern. Think you can hide from me?
Not a very nice pig mask. We're hiding, Daddy. I've noticed. Hmm. Goat. Cheap. Oh. February 14th, 1899. Yes, he said, I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some malodorous disease. Mal... Malodorous disease. I caught him uh, looking at me strangely as if he really wanted to know. As if what he really wanted to know was how I knew, th knew of them. Biting back the temptation to box his ears for the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. I told the children, truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If those old stones hold the financial benefits I predict, it will be merely the first of many. Hmm. Stones. Financial benefits. Gonna recognize these crests. Daddy. <laughs> what the fuck? Again? Damn carpenters. Okay. Take that gun from the mantelpiece and <laughs> these piggy masks are really weirding me out Hello? 
Okay. Right. Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit. November 7th, 1898. The bank is refusing credit. The ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children and servants are safely asleep. When they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune. That my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without pay, without, f without tire, by adapting the me mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. Okay, so we are... Uh Butcher who invested in machines. Ooh, lots of freaking alcohol like everywhere. And it didn't work out. Oh, take my rifle. Take my rifle. Time to accidentally shoot my children or something, what the fuck. Effort for naught. Okay. Why do we have secret rooms? Oh, wait, I saw something there, but I have to check so that I don't miss anything here. But like... Ah, I see, there's a painting. I'm looking through it. Hmm... Motor below! Okay, paintings of people with their heads being blown up. This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Okay, I like to stand here and... Uh, Take pictures of my wife when she's taking a bath. Okay. Guess that was kinky stuff. People being flogged. Crazy people. Huh. Oh, secret doors. Better close my secret door so nobody sees it. Actually, I'll never find it again if I close it that good. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
in Lily's honor a banquet. Lilibeth Lily Mandus, interred here on 26th September 1890. The angels weep you to the glory of teeth sold for dollies of the poor. What? <laughs> Well, so far this game is definitely succeeding in weirding me out. Maybe it's the new underground. Daddy. Oh, those little bastards. They're in here drinking again. Spilling wine all over them. Oh, phonograph record. I must say, my dear man, you look around. Yes, I. I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man alone. It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Ooh. Nice. Billiards. children. Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. How? Where should I go? Hello? Hello? Outside, I think not. Banquet table. Screams of women. Do I really want to go outside? I don't know. Doesn't seem like I can't go anywhere else, okay. It 
it's all foggy and these gates gates appear apparently can't open. What the fuck? Right. Oh, locked myself out. Zimba, I haven't seen Snarf around in a while. What's he up to? I don't know. But he did have some driving uh, test that he was a little bit upset about. It got cancelled. Maybe they rescheduled. Huh. Wait. Main doors. Ah, damn it, I'm a prisoner in my own house. Grand Hall. The voice on the telephone, he speaks as if he knows me, and indeed it's I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth, I feel we're entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man gasping for the surface with my own within my own house. Beneath me I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If I can only find the entrances, okay. But once we sat to weep Lilith's passing under the weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald. But once you watched her bathe, the children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge there. They must think it's a bit odd that daddy has secret passages all over the fucking house. Okay, so we should look for some way down. Passage. Down by any chance, no. Okay. Hatch or something in the floor. What's this? December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor, the distinguished Professor A. He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I'm not stupid. He's here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me, to doff and wheedle, and my dear sir... And but you must still grieve, and perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse, that would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tri tripery. See whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging the innards of clumsily vivisected horse, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of this golden age. I may even introduce him to, to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Ah. So he's been keeping Jack and his sons here. Interesting. Oh, letting in the London fog, no good. So we are a crazed madman. What else is new? Second bath. That means that there must be a secret entrance somewhere.
Oh yes, big game hunting. Good sport. Hand me one of those rifles. Wild boar. I don't know what that is. Giant moose? No, it's a hippopotamus. Why are you so serious? <laughs> Giant anteater. Proof that there is no god. <laughs> well, at least it didn't. Why can I touch them? Oh, I can push it? Or at least that he has a sense of humor. Central heating, I guess. A bit advanced for its age, but I can afford it. <sighs> Open the Bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's house has many rooms, and as for mine, well, <laughs> it also has its secret chambers. Bet. But I didn't actually get anywhere in the secret chamber, did I? I have to say, this game seems to have a little bit of a performance issue. Okay. Did I miss? Still locked in here.
Well, I have no clue. Edwin and Enoch's Diary, October 3rd, 1899. Daddy says we're not allowed to play with the animals anymore. We were playing hide and seek with Cook. And he came and shouted at us, just as we were going to hide behind Mr. Grumpy. Grumpy Teddy. Ugh. Cook says it's because of the guns in here, there, but he always lets us polish them, so it can't be that. Anyway, that room is haunted. If you sneak around there at night, you can hear the ghost in the walls behind the cases. They're often angry, or that's how it sounds. We think that's why you can hear them rattling the chains and slamming doors and things like that. We don't like it in there anyway. Okay, I must have missed something there. Ah, there must be something in there. Something really obvious, like this is a door or whatever. This door definitely won't open. This freaking house could have like secret entrances everywhere, so...
Feels like there's something underneath there. I think I came from that door. These doors are locked. Or maybe I came from here. This door I can't interact with. Bloody hell. No. I came from that door then. Children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge. Something around here. Mr. Grumpy Teddy. If you close it again, then what happens? Nothing. Missing something completely obvious again, I'm gonna rage. Ah. Oh, look beyond the paintings. You know, that could have had a double meaning though, you know, since there was freaking mirrors. Whoop. Well, sorry you had to see that, children. It's only a hobby. belt for pinks. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this?
Oh. No. I'm too big to slide down there. hands now how can I kiss them good night with lips that have issued such instruction uh -huh. Of blood. And then nothing. Supposed to see something here. Rooftop chase, no. <laughs> I will have a cup of coffee. You can cry all you want. On the name, the protagonist. So it's now open here. It's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. the seal anyway bird brand what the fuck come and see 
Beautiful house falling apart. Against the rising waters, planted the fingernails and flower pots all along the river when it's dark, so the sun could hatch them. All the world is an egg, he reasoned. We'll grow hands now. More crazy people. June 3rd, 1899. I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from the disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if those clean places so free of humanity's filth imprinted upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. Clean. Are you fucking kidding me? Fear is what keeps us all in our places and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh is the greatest of them all. I'm sickened, I'm ruined, but I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. Yes. Slow coach, it's this way. Slow coach? Trapped. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone who seems so close to my own? Who seems to know me so well? Does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But I do have a choice. But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth, if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Then I will spank them! Curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be a s the strange machine my f new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they stray downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deep, Amandus. Through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. Little friend? How dare you, sir? They do seem to be quite fucking small. Things seems a little bit oversized. I can't actually reach. Hmm? What is it? I can't read it. Fuck's sake. Battery? Giant fucking battery, what? Maybe.
Yes, yes, I found it. Threw it on the ground. Whatever it is, I guess it's some kind of... Uh, Saboteur has been this way. Intriguing! The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain, coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Once a fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun and the gate is, remains as remains an impenetrable barrier to progress. Fortunately, I found a fuse. What luck. Oh. Thousands of fucking fuses now. Come on. legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. Please, no. Something blew a fuse again. Stupid 18th century machinery. 19th century machinery. music but for what purpose oh it's freaking door
dogs. Giant rats mutated by... Pigs, maybe, of course. They could be running around here. Oh. August 19th, 1899. Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force, whilst that ignorant charlatan Blavatsky pontificated upon the soul. They're both cretins. To think one could strive for such great heights without wading a thirst for first through puke and innard, without standing upon an architecture of bones. Montezuma was the wiser, but here in our temples of steel I witnessed the severed head of a man, recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, open his eyes and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my dead darling Lily, it is too late for you, but I promise you this. I will save our children from death, and if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. Crazy. Alright. So he's been experimenting... Uh, ...with reanimation. Stunted thing just ran off. Follow us, Papa. We know the way. It's like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Hell with the Oompa Loompas running around. Okay, can we jump? No. Fuck no. Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Clear bunker, great. Extraordinary, quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man, you have been busy. It is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? Should we really be Should we really be controlling this without knowing anything about what the hell it is? Yes, it seems fail safe.
Sterilizing device. Piggies go in, sausage comes out. I hope. Collar the neck the noose. From the window he could see almost to the docks where they were still pulling hair out of the gratings. God knows what it's about, says the paper boy. The talk is of murder. Distributions clerk. I have such visions to share with me. May my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Make me clean that this that my thoughts and words can unfoul it be. Mandus. I have these drawers if there's nothing in them. Oh. May 1st, 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things and I will tell you now. No. No, they do will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them and worship it thus given. And this I realized, they are no different to the masses, they are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to, to cross the great, that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. Surely you haven't reanimated pigs and made them walk. Would be an abomination. Okay. Looks a little mad. What the fuck is that? the handle. Oh. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from the holding pens onto the line they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits and we, actu we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. 
could find the bossy particularly effective in this regard. Debusé. Wow. Yeah. Finally, piggy. Station. Warning fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Okay, we need to get that later, I guess. And Snarfer would enjoy this, all this bacon. Strangers not allowed on this work. This works. Inquires to be made at the lodge. Hmm. Boycott. Ban swine stench from our streets. Amanda's factory must close. Prejudice against swine. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Oh, those little creepy bastards. This bloody truck is in the way. Delivery sh schedule. How in places are we supposed to meet these damn sch schedules if we... Even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function. These cursed new fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. Gaddis says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it. And the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night and to bed. To my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. 
Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson's Templar for a jar. Go, stupid workers. Chemical transportation danger, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Focus this. All the suggestions of a lar large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. Yet this fa facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach and continue on my path. It's a murder factory. Pumpkin station. Some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrate that Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons works. But the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I'm sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however. Almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. Strange container. This canister looks as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid unholy reek. I will not think of what I... Uh, of that I... Of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. More immediate task presents itself. And the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. Guess I missed whatever passed me in that cage. Right. Oh. Whatever it is, it's fuel. Big monster. Oh. So where do I actually insert? Oh, there. Nice. And we have to crank it. Right. Pig monster, what the fuck? <sighs> this way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Bird. 
Oh, look, that pentagram that we recognize from the last game. Unfortunately, we recognize a little bit too much of the props from uh, Amnesia. Oh. What? Just a window shutter, I see. Yes, I mean, why wouldn't you bury a pig, right? A pig deserves a Christian burial. Oh. It's strange going us on here in the cemetery. Oh. But I'm sure it's nothing. Just my imagination. Livestock and Bibles. Lily dancing. Lily dancing on the table, her eyes aflame. This love burned into his heart. His heart scarred from the heat of this love. Of his love dancing. Phone fucking died. Apparently. Which is a bit fucking strange since it had 20% battery just when I started streaming. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saints, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with a secret, but he is like all the others, so the old priest has gone to the bolding... gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. With them, a shepherd indeed. So he ran to the press, is that it? Didn't like it. your mockery of life that you created. For fuck's sake. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. And then he didn't want to work here anymore, I wonder why.
Hmm. Possibly have upset him. Get away. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid content and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow under hallowed ground. <laughs> Didn't actually feel that I was being chased, but okay. Inside St. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness. Such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here I feel the machine throb beneath the floor. Beneath the flags. I know my path awaits me. Yeah, if I could only pull this freaking lever. Nope. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Mr. Teddy Bar is kind of heavy. Father Jeremiah's Journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now where once I had to walk amongst them, to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that man dist distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are especially trained for the new machinery he uses. That it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical to risk such precious lives as he sees here. Changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his, his sickbed as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the, with the rise to become a dominant food produce business in the land, distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. And then he kills them. It would seem. Okay, I need this for something. Secret passage, maybe. Put it there.
we come from here? Think so. So, I couldn't open that machine door. Or could I? Oh yeah, shit, I knew I should have brought it. <laughs> I've been playing way too much uh, of these Penumbra and Amnesia games. I know their tricks. Oh yeah. The engine fires, the flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them. not so nice. Fuck, this one's covered. Bad time for the light to go out. Swedish voice acting. We 
really gonna jump in here? What the fuck? Why would we want to do that? I don't know. Maybe we can't. particularly scared of a pig. We're going back the way we came now or no? No, 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 there it is. Oh my god, it's a goblin! Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to be scared. Uh. <laughs> That's just ugly. Oh, I'm put in the cage, I see. Yeah. Bad man. No, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's fucking ugly. Ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> and so the stoking. The workers sing as they work. They sing as they eat. They sing as they make toilets. They are always singing. If you place your ear to the ground, you can hear them still. Little piggies. So he put pig masks on his workers to try to hide the fact that they had actual pig men working for him. I don't get it. Hellish portal. The PS have no choice, thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam, I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horror lies beneath the altar. Pigmen. Bacon men. I'm gonna call them bacon men from now on. Cannibalistic bacon man. Uh, okay. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Manders Company. Meat Processing Factory. My soul shudders at what I've seen, but at last I've reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those flood waters and drain them away. Like muses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Or horribly fail. Either way, I will spank the bottoms. Naughty, naughty. What? 
Oh, this is where we're going, I guess. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Right. Piston rooms. Oh no! Pig man. Bacon man. Sorry. Peaky, peaky, peaky. <laughs> so tasty. Uh, do I go up or down? Let's go up first. The phone doesn't ring. Oh. Easy, Mandis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Indeed I will. A saboteur is a bacon man. October 17th, 1899. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed trough and at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. We used a natural static charge built up by the friction of the cards against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm. Mecha uh, stunning arm mechanisms and delivers al uh, along and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lightning cont contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. Post stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical. The physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the haunch or uh, thigh of the product, and from this point we dispense with the belt and instead in instigate a channeled floor, which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. Nice. Everything very neat and tidy. Uh, I think before I go into the piston rooms I'm gonna take a short break uh, I just have to make a phone call so we're just gonna check this out nothing here What's this? So, oh, can't open that. Alright. So, uh, I'm gonna take a really short break. I'll be back in like five or six minutes and we'll continue from there. So, uh, five to six minutes break.
All right, let's get back to it. Underneath the pistons, piston room. God, bacon, man. The bacon men don't scare me at all, so if that's all they're gonna throw at me, they're not gonna have a very successful uh, time scaring me in this game. Are your furnaces fueled? I don't know. Number one and number five are running fine, but number three is not. Okay. Number two and number six are not running. Well, let's shovel some coal, shall we? that I have any freaking clue why, but... need two pieces of gold maybe
see if we can... Oh, we can't throw it, damn it. I'm betting they only need two pieces of gold each. No entry on the pistons when machinery is at rest. Seems counterintuitive, but okay. They say so. Well, this is burning merrily. Which other? Six and two and three, but I think I fueled all of them, so let's go. Pretty sure I tried that before, but okay. And just number two we left. Oh no, the bacon men are breaking in. I have to hurry. Speed ahead. Warp six. some switch or what? This doesn't seem to be moving. Right. Oh. Bacon man. <laughs> Do they have like a focus audience that they try that on? To see if they were scary or not? If people were scared of bacon men. <laughs> in bacon.
Problem is I can't see shit. This game is darker than Amnesia. I need my little lantern. Tell me I have to stoke more fires, come on, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, it's so scary. This doesn't look safe. Fuck it, right? Compound X storage. Naked flames or guns. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrived this morning and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, and although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encased the torso, which is deformed with evidence of substantial uh, muscle mass and displace muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barber surgery or was born deformed. And an attempt to force this gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is, I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him. I suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subject of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Right. So, uh, why all the secrecy if you're just experimenting on animals? Chemical transportation, highly corrosive. Oh, I'm supposed to transport myself there, I guess. Highly corrosive. In the nest of eggs, the factory is quiet now, stumbling the alley, a wrench hung loosely from his hand, oil and grease dripping off it. Looking like blood in the half-light. Release the pigs on the world. And the revenge.
we can we find ourselves in a pig pen? No. Oh. <laughs> Is there any game where you can ride an elevator without some shit happening? No. Nope. Lily's firms are made of steel. Lily's arms are silent. Pistons are silent. Yeah, I already fixed that. Fire and steel. Fires are stoked. Yes, I know that. The scent continues. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. If the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath and I will save them. From the Bacon Man. Bruised and battered but alive, I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle. <laughs> epic indeed. But I'm driven to find my family and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the, the way to the bilge. Drain the flood, free your children. Enjoy that bacon. Quickly, Mandus. Find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness and the flood waters continue to rise. This is bullshitting us. Nice. Dentists. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate and using incineration, or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. Simple compound of one part Brennenberg infusion vitae and one part, part orgone monad, monad dispersal fluid is sufficient. This can be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body is highly Outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Make that bonding agent and use it on the lock. Great. Oh yeah. Read the obvious note. Clearly, what there is clearly another passage beyond the lock gates. It seems to seems I have a choice of approach. The padlock is old but firm, and after that fall, I cannot summon the strength to break it open. Duh. Holding pens. Holding pens or low temperature storage. Let's go to low temperature storage. No! Prime bacon. <laughs> it disappears. Warning. Inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole, fore and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and excrement, my lungs are in my vomit, I pass clots of organs. Clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I drink it, and I did drink it. I did do that because of the changes, they rippled inner me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can, pushed them back into my grey gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever, because not 
us all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? <laughs> You'd be surprised. off. <laughs> Go buggy yourself, stupid pig. Ah. pig. Dumb pig. <laughs> Can't open doors, thankfully. Too stupid to open doors. Uh, okay. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Uh, a little goblin attacked me. Jump in there if, in case I have to hide from the bacon man. No. Well, screw that then. August 20th, 1899. Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are the sorriest specimens of humanity I've ever seen. No one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bendelum are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding in their teeming stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth, we give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock, dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dull groaning of as teeth are removed, as bones are reset. Hear the pig screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is their reflection that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk among them, my children. I whisper to their dreams. You are my children now. I have children once again. And your forms imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. Okay. So we're making bacon men, but why? <laughs> why make bacon men out of homeless people? Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? <laughs> Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be. Uh-huh. Take this seriously. 
<laughs> it's so fucking ugly. <laughs> they remind me of the, of the pigmen on the Muppets, and they're not very scary. Oh, you look like a Muppet, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fail. Okay, do I have to make you chase me? Merry chase. Closed again. Great. <gasps> oh, my God, he smacked me. <laughs> That's so scary. Oh, thankfully there's a phone I can save. No. Oh yeah. Wrong game. You will have to find another way to the tunnel. Take care in this place, Mantis. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Bacon, man. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a bit too much, I think. Facility access, pig line, opiate dispensation, gag, throttle, bilge pumps, disposal tubes, engine rooms, boiler, orgone towers. Right, that's orgone towers. Of course. We have here. Guess that should do it. I have to go back the same way now, or what? <laughs> Dropped your toy. Disgusting pig. August 4th, 1898. More experiments with compound X. Took the dog and injected it with strychnine. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. What? What? Okay. Bit crazy, are we? One thing more, what? 
centrifuge. It's some sort of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I've seen too often before. It's clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Yeah. One part Brandenburg infusion, one part orgone. Well, then we shouldn't need any. It's just two compounds, right? <laughs> Mix, damn it. Send it somewhere, or what do we want to do? Oh yeah, break down the door. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. Witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice, unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with this so-called complex. More clues, please. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. It killed me. Okay, I don't remember where that... Oh, there the door is. Nice. Ow! It broke. That didn't help. Okay. Crap. What's this? Ow! Disgusting. I can't stop looking at it. Well, this didn't exactly do what I hoped it would. Cover the lock in sticky goo. <laughs> Disappointment. else we can do so it has to be we don't have anything to bash the door with oh yeah they need some light oh yeah there we go Huh. 
this leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London he could only see the temple rising into the smog. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for gam rolling. An evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature which controls operation of the processing uh, of the product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is one of the, of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. And this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection, regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in the other. So smart. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Thank God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Hmm. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? Oh no! Invisible fish! Invisible fish again. Bacon man. <laughs> I can't I can't look at them without laughing. They make they bring a smile to my face. Visible fish is a little bit Worse, but it's been used before. August 1st, 1899. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chelm and I'm no Iliahu. At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorways between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by freezing temperatures of those towers. Up here where the air is hot and fetid they become overheated and their duality tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically torn from one world to the other and back again in violent unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds they are creatures of this world, then they are turned away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected area sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The boat of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. Wow, 
down, they stink. I really needed that information. I'm going the right way, but but we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Anders, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Oh. Did I see a note? I think I saw a note, but I can't reach. Oh, there we go. February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit. Vines crawling about, intertwining the stuck of serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness. A weight of forgotten. And this here... This is where the king sat, and this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that they that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads, and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping that from happening. Perhaps, my darlings, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was that they could simply not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling in on, upon them. Nice thing to tell your children. Mandus Postdiluvian. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can uh, divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames, where it belongs, and clear the path to the center of. Mm. Right. On we go. That's it, Papa. You're so near now. Decontamination. Wonderful. <laughs> the 
<laughs> Look at all the piggy workers. <laughs> oh. Fail. Yes, fail. <laughs> oh wait, probably check so there's no bacon man is gonna eat me when I open the door. Nest of wretches. Dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dang complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business, and yet, and yet, I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. I will not think of what I have seen, of the chairs and the cages. I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. I'll think about it. I'll giggle. Perfectly safe. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Ow! Fuck's sake. Decently big freaking complex. Climbing Simulator 2014. Right. From tide to spine, a skin of shroud, a stump of the bled. Oh, Lily is fly blown. Oh, Lily is dead. And dreams of the jungle will flood through her head and light up her head.
You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Manuel. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. <laughs> Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it I with... Say you come. The, these must be the bilge pumps. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his flood in place, he must have disabled these vast pumps. But he has, was clearly rushed. Thus far he has left most of his work incomplete. His clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. How reassuring. Electric fish. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple, downward ever, towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. Much faster. Oh, that was not a door, I see. <laughs> what? Oh my god. A pig face suddenly appears on my screen. Uh... Stop! Ensure all wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps. All wheels. How the hell should I know? Oh. Be sure as hell look to be in place. Whoa! Ow! That's okay though. There we go. Thousand pipes, another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. I cannot help but feel I'm trapped in some great game, forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. Oh. Yes, rub it in. Now it's fucking locked off here, what?
seems to be pretty close to bottom missing a wheel so oh that I come in, okay? Maybe I'm trapped here now. So where did the bastard hide that wheel? there before? I don't know. Bad idea to jump down here, I guess. Oh, what's this rock? Oh, wait. Supposed to go down there, I guess. Guess not. Dead end. Oh. Well, that was kind of a bad move. Hmm? 
jump over this here now. Can't go down there. Fuck. of this place. I'm supposed to find something down here in the muck. Whenever we are, we really like to go down this hole, because that's the third time we've been down here. Okay. Finding the children. The flood is drained, I've prevailed, the saboteur is beaten, my heart pounds with excitement. Even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation, how this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final ascent beckons me to enter as Lily once lay on our wedding bed and summoned me into my manor. <laughs> what a douche. Yeah, I don't. Really, this here. Machine is working. Found it.
children dancing. The stairs are steep, the sun beating on his neck as he pulls them up. Veins pop on his forearms, but he cannot deviate. He is a man driven by love. Only love. <laughs> yes! I feel the love in my heart right now. March 15th, 1899. I curl into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden. They clean my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within that, that gentlest of stones. It sings to me and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten rib cage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. Uh, find and I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and it set upon and I set it upon the mantelpiece. And went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. <laughs> so he found a stone in Mexico and went mad. Heart of the machine. And when they first said daddy, my heart was molten as if blood frozen upon the ground were f held to the sun and to thaw and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul in two bodies, and my love was all consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to the sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I've fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I've set my covenant and drained this flood, and I can't come for you now, my darling boys. No one unauthorized persons to enter this facility by order of the management. Don't worry. I'm the owner. Reception floor. Oh dear God. Dear Christ, what is this place? Well, looks pretty sweet. Let's find a way to make it walk. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Okay. No idea what this does. Let's pull them anyway. No. Have to find some cogs.
rod control room. Have to find some rods. Of course. My bad. Oh fuck. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. The bastard's been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction. Then I will render this sabotage impotent once and for all. Number three cannot be... Eight and three. Right. Eight and three. Just had to make more ladders. Danger, compound X. Don't worry. All we had to do was open them. Wow. No? This one is open. It still doesn't work. Sounds a little re radioactive to me, but... Okay, this one is missing something. Fuck. The other one was okay. Well, there can't be that many places to hide them. what I thought, but... What's wrong with it?
Yes. Set them free. Set them all free. Yes. Pull the switch. I knew. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. <laughs> Boys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Okay. Mander's Saboteur. There are feats of engineering contained herein that would make even those clever fellows at the Institute reel with envy. Surely. Okay. Now find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon those catwalk these catwalks. I'm coming, my darlings. I almost saved you. <laughs> I'm gonna make a quick, quick check to see if I can figure out how far along we are. If I'm gonna break here for today, or if I'm gonna press on towards the end today. Let's see. Feels like we could be close, but I don't know. I think we're like uh, maybe two thirds through. So uh, I think uh, I'm kind of tired today. So I think I'm gonna finish it off tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I'm completely out of coffee too. So yep, I think we're gonna save and exit actually. So, uh, yep, I'm going to cut a little bit short today. I'm feeling kind of tired. Uh, and, yep, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow to complete this game. Uh, and uh, then we'll see what we'll do after that and on Friday. So, yep, yeah, this is JSP Games signing off for today. Have a really great day, guys. Uh, hope to see you around later for more gaming, more amnesia and... Uh, 
maybe Portal 2. Maybe we're gonna round off with Portal 2 this week. We'll see. So, have a great day. See you around.